वेलकम बैक लेडीज एंड जेंट्स टुडे वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट मेंटल मॉडल नंबर टू व्हिच इज ग्रोथ वर्सेस डी ग्रोथ बिफोर वी गेट इनटू इट आई जस्ट वन टू से दैट यू गोना हैव सम सॉर्ट ऑफ अ लीनिंग इदर यू गोना लीन टुवर्ड्स या ग्रोथ मॉडल मेक्स अ लॉट ऑफ सेंस और यू गोना से नो आई थिंक द डी ग्रोथ मॉडल मेक्स अ लॉट ऑफ सेंस आई जस्ट वन टू से कीप एन ओपन माइंड एंड थिंक अबाउट व्हाट रियलिस्टिकली कैन हेल्प अस अचीव अ नेट जीरो गोल ओके सो लेट्स गेट इनटू इट व्हाट डज द ग्रोथ मॉडल से द ग्रोथ मॉडल सजेस्ट्स दैट बेसिकली um the countries across the world the economies across the world cannot and should not stop growing and the current capitalist structure of our economies allows us to reach our climate goals in tandem with growing our economies rapidly and they also say that essentially we are able to reduce our emissions while our economies rapidly grow a lot of climate policies across the world are actually at this point based off of the growth model so in essence it's just the capitalism model of society but yeah even more mental model number 1 project drawdown and the mac curve are based off of this idea of the growth model and now on the other side there are the degrowthers who basically say that the growth model is already failing you know like all the countries across the world right now are rapidly growing but what is this leading to bad air more plastic in the ocean less um, species that are now there in the wild pollution all of this so they're essentially saying that the growth model doesn't work and how can it work when all the countries together are going to be growing so there's dr jason hickel if i'm not wrong he is at the forefront of the degrowth debate and he suggests that when there is more growth there will essentially be more demand for energy and we will not have the resources to be able to cover up this demand with renewable resources so he says that basically um as part of the degrowth model the rich countries need to let the poor countries grow by stopping their mindless consumption so i think i framed this wrong i realize when i say it what it means is that the rich countries need to curb their needless consumption when i say needless consumption it means fast fashion cars that run on petrol diesel consumption of meat campaigning advertisement all of this so that the smaller countries can actually grow and effectively together the rich countries by stopping their needless consumptions and the poorer countries that will grow can together curb emissions and reach the 1.5 degree um mark so what do you think which growth model works